Okay, so we're still looking at this overall progress. If you want to know the background of this, go past the last couple of days, but we're going to be working on the visual now, the chart that goes alongside it. So we've already got the data that we've managed to collect. We just add a bit more in now. So we are going to change, um, we added another cell in, A4, and we're going to change that again to a percentage. So we're formatting it as a percentage. Now, because we've formatted a percentage, we, our formula we're gonna put, so we're gonna press it equals, and we're gonna do one minus A1, because that's going to give us a percentage. It's basically like saying 100% minus what we've got in A1. And then we've got two series that we can use for a chart. So we're now going to click on the chart button at the top. Now, if we just choose for first um, reference our A1, we can then click on the paintbrush and edit our references. So if we just click on now the bottom uh, box for our A4 row, then it gives us a comparison. So we can now see that our chart changes depending on how many um, percentage we've got compared to another. So we'll see when we've got 100% progress that it changes to all one color. So once we've done that, we can have a look at the chart, the style that we use, so we can have different data points, we can have data labels um, added in there or not if we don't want to. So if I go into each of the series, under series and labels, I can take the value label off. So if you don't want to see those and make it um, just a little bit more visual, a little bit less data, you can just unclick the value button there. So we just ed uh, end up with this chart that um, updates as we do those checkboxes. So again, we can choose things like the inner radius, we can change that up and down, we can change the rotation angle to where we want to see those different um, data points so we can change that around as well. And these are just preferences that you will want to see. Okay, so once we've done that, the next thing we um, want to do is just check that we've got all our styles right. I like quite like adding in, for example, a little shadow, group shadow behind them so that you can see it. And then you can just position that over your overall progress, again, just to make it, make it aesthetically pleasing. Once you've done that, um, you can actually section the uh, sections off to make them a bit more obvious. Um, but what I'm going to do is just hide our data points. Now, automatically, you'll see something that's gone wrong here. Basically, you need to also make sure that when you've done that and positioned it in the place you want it, that you go into the chart and click on data and show that hidden data. So click on data, show hidden data, because that data's hidden and it's not sure if we want to see the data still, but obviously we do. We don't want to see the cells, but we do want to see the data. And it just gives us a really nice, aesthetically pleasing um, a sort of a visual of exactly how our progress is getting done. So we can see it as we go through. Thanks for taking the time to listen all about how to make our to-do list. Please do keep following for more information on how to use numbers.